Hi everyone and welcome to day two. This is the first session for today and um, for this session we'll be having um, Favor. So Favor will be taking us through beginners who wants to learn how to use Maltic. Um, Favor is, um, is the community um, lead for education team and um, he also she also works with it just a moment. All right, Favor works at um, Exitman as a tech writer. She also loves the synergy of writing and technology, and she's very much active in the open source space and has participated in some open source programs such as Google Summer of Code and Google Season of Docs. She is also the team education lead at Maltic. Today, she will be taking, she'll be talking on the beginner's guide on how to use Maltic. So Favor is actually also part of the um, co-lead for the Maltic Meetup Lagos, um, where we both work on bring, sharing the news about how Maltic, people can be part of Maltic across Lagos. We've been able to have people around, not just Lagos, but across the globe. Um, today, Favor will be sharing with us how you can begin with using Maltic. Hi, Favor. Hello. Hello, everyone. All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. OK, good. Let's get started. All right, sure. OK. Um, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good morning, wherever you are. And today, I'll be talking on the beginner's guide on how to use Mautic. And uh, before we know that we already know that Motic is a marketing automation tool, and uh, so we we'll just go on to what is marketing automation. And uh, marketing automation is a software is the use of a software to deliver personalized messages to customers and leads. The software allows you to create a dynamic series of messages to send to your contacts. Marketing automation also offers an exciting opportunity for greater efficiency, cost reduction, and an enhanced customer experience. And this is what Motic aims to achieve. Motic is an open source tool, free and open source tool that aims to achieve uh, greater efficiency, cost reduction, and enhanced customer experience. So we already know what Motic is and what it offers. So I'm just going to go through the different things that Motic offers, which is campaign management. Uh, customer lifecycle management, contact management, integrations and plugins, reports and dashboards. We'll look into some of these uh, during this uh, talk as we go further. So first and foremost, to a beginner who wants to use Mautic and someone who hasn't maybe used Mautic or has probably used other things. So the first step to use Mautic is to install Mautic by downloading the latest version of the, the software. A Mautic has like the version three, version four, which is the latest version of the software. And it's always necessary that you update your Mautic version so as to be able to get the new features, new releases that is being added to Mautic. And also you can download through its semi-automated processes offered by third party tools, such as uh, Digital Ocean, Software Colors, Vietnamese, etc. So now after downloading Mautic, the next step is to install, uh, after installing and downloading Mautic, the next step is to set up basic configurations in Mautic. And there is always an on-screen guide on how you can set up your basic configurations in Mautic once you've downloaded your Mautic. And then the next set of things that's very important to do are uh, to uh, set up your cone job. So what are cone jobs in Mautic? Mautic requires a few cone jobs to handle some maintenance stack, such as updating contacts or campaigns, executing campaign actions, sending emails, and much more. Without them, nothing will happen in Motic. So it's very important. So you need to set up your cone jobs. After setting up your configuration in Motic, having your Motic running already and installing your Motic, you need to set up your cone jobs. After setting up your cone jobs, you can now be able to perform some things and tasks in Motic. For example, we just go through some of the tasks that we can use Motic to run, which is for, uh, how to use contacts in Motic. So when we talk about contacts, contacts are the central factor of a marketing automation tool. These they are all the individuals who have visited your website or have interacted with you in some way. So you want to get the contacts of all the uh, individuals who have somehow, some way visited your website. You want to keep a list of all of them so I can be able to use them for maybe promotions or 
anything. So this uh, Matic enables you to get all the contacts that have visited your website in some way. So this is how the contact to Matic is placed. Let me just leave the screen. So yeah, on this side, this is the contact to Matic. Matic has like a list of um, things that it offers, which is the dashboard, the calendar, the contacts, the company segment, component, campaigns, channels, points, stages, reports, and so with the contacts, to make use of multi contact, all you need to do is all you need to do is click on the contact menu with contact on the main menu. This is the main menu of multi. So you just click on the contacts, and when you click on the contacts, you move on to new. From new, you'll be able to uh, import your contacts via CSV, add your contacts one at a time, or export your contact through a CSV or spreadsheet. So look at the new. So with the new, you can be able to export your contact, import your contact. Uh, also, import your contact one at a time. You can import a CSV or a spreadsheet, and also export your contact as a CSV or a spreadsheet. So this is what Motic offers, and there are a lot of other configurations that come with managing contact in Motic. So next thing we're going to look at is channels in Motic. Uh, so how do we use channels in Motic? Channels are a delivery pathway. Marketing market and uh, messages, emails, emails, uh, notifications, text messages, and social media that you use for multi to publish your component. So these pathways, when is a pathway that you choose should be selected based on the ideology of sending the right content to the right customer. So channels are basically delivery pathways that uh, multi can help manage for you. So we'll just look at what the channels look like. So this is like another example. So I'm just going to go off. So these are the channels on the main menu, and we have the marketing messages, we have the emails, we have the focus items, and we have the social monitoring. So as we just said earlier, channels are delivery pathways, and we mentioned it earlier. So to use channels in Motic, it's basically the same way. You click on new, and from there, you can follow the on-screen instructions on how to add your channels and stuff like that. So the next thing we're going to look at is segments. So this is another important uh, feature that Motic has. So what is segment? Segment provides a way for you to easily manage your contact. So the you contact, you're getting your contacts and everything. And then segment helps you to manage these contacts that you've gotten. Once your contacts are known, you can begin to create segments or list of people based on their common interest, their location, how they came into Motic, or even how they've interacted with you one way or the other. Segment is just for keeping things very organized so that you know which is which and where different things are being placed. This is how I use segment and Motic. So to use segment and Motic, I think I have some on-screen instructions. So this is the segment on the main menu or in Motic. So this is the segment here. And to make use of segments, most do click on the new, which is on the right-hand side. Of the of the of the software. Then next is creating a campaign. So creating a campaign in Motic is an automated workflow that assists with the marketing efforts. So now campaign is used to uh, assist with your marketing efforts. So creating a campaign involves speaking a name, creating a description, and designing the segment that associates with the campaign. So this is what Motic offers you. The 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 means for you to be able to create a campaign. So we are going to explore how all these features of Motic work together for enable you to get the customer and interact with someone who has come to your website and be able to get the contacts of the person. So Motic enables you to do all of this. So we'll uh, go through a simple workflow on how you can explore all these features of Motic and how they work together. So first and foremost, what we are going to do is we're going to set up a campaign based on our information coming from a form completed by a visitor who has reached your website. So you have a website that has a form and the visitor filled in the form probably with the first name and email. So we're going to create a campaign based on this format. So what's the first thing we need to do? The first thing we need to do is to create a form that will be embedded on your landing page. This is the first thing that we do. And we're going to look at how it's being done in Motic. Uh, so to do this, I'm just going to go so that the focus will be on the screen. To do this, you click on components. Components is on the main menu of Motic. And once you click on components, it has the form section. So once you click on the form section, you click on new. That is that way you have, uh, you're able to cre uh, create your form. And then the next thing you need to do is what type of form do you want to create? 
Photic is very, very um, easy to use as it has on screen instructions that can guide the user to be able to know what to use, when to use it, and how to use it. So, we want to create a new campaign form because we want to track someone who had just visited our website. So, to create this form, would be clicking on, sorry, be clicking on the new campaign form. And once we've done that, we move on to the next page, which is what? Uh, selecting, uh, setting up a simple landing page. Once you've set a simple landing page, okay, let me go back here. Once you've um, clicked on the new campaign form and click on select, there are some other on-screen instructions which you can help you, which you need to put in first name and email, which is the desired field that you need the user that will be visiting your website to fill in. Uh, once that is done, you move on to setting up your simple landing page. And to set up your simple landing page, you click on landing pages and then click on new. And once you click landing pages on you, you'll be given or you'll be shown something that looks like this. And then we have code mode, we have blank, we have the petillion, uh, uh, we have Sunday, we have oxygen and skyline. And so we'll click on oxygen and then click on builder. So once you click on oxygen, then click on builder. And the next thing we need to do is to fill in these informations that will be given to you. Then you fill in the kind of information that you want the user to see. And at the end of the day, once you're done with it, you close and save. Then next step is to create a thank you email. So after creating your setting up a simple landing page, the next step would be to create a simple, uh, create a thank you email. And to do that, you click on emails, which is located on the main menu under the channels, because the thank you email that we are trying to create, so click on emails, which is located here. Once you click on the emails, click on new as well. And then you'll be given this uh, um, uh, screen, which is what type of email do you want to create, just like how the campaign came out. So the new template email or new segment email, and then we would click on the new template email. Once you create on the new template email, the next step will be to click on blank. And once you click on blank, put your subjects that we want. Thank you for requesting for this information. You put your internal name, then click on builder. Once you click on builder, you'll be given a means to fill. You'll be given something to fill just like this. And once you fill it in, then with the information, desired information that you want, click on save and close. Then the next step will be to uh, set up your campaign. Setting up your campaign is now that you've set up your form, landing page, and email. The next thing is to configure your first campaign. And configuring your first campaign will bring all the work that you've created together. And campaigns are very flexible and they're made up of conditions, decisions, and actions. To set up your first campaign, you click on campaigns. So I'm just going to show you what click on campaigns, which is something here. And once you click on campaigns, you'll be given a screen like this in which you add your name and launch campaign builder. And once you launch your campaign builder, next thing you need to select uh, the contact source that you want. Uh, we'll be selecting the campaign forms because we've created the form and the um, landing page and emails. And we're using the form format to get whatever information that we want. So we click on the campaign forms. And once you click on the campaign forms, the next step will be to uh, put in the contacts that we've created, which is our first contact. Once you put our first contact, you click on add. And that's why I have this like on screen, like uh, numbers to be able to show which one comes first. And once you click on your first contact, which you've created, you click on add. Once you've clicked on add, you'll be able to click on the kind of, uh, I remember I mentioned that campaigns have decisions, actions, and conditions, and all of them are used for different things. Decision is made when a contact decides to take action or not. For example, an open an email. An action is something executed by Motic, which is to send the email, and a condition is based on known profile field values or submitted form data. So we'll click action for this uh, form that we've, we are creating. And then next, we'll have to modify. Next, we'll have to modify our 
contact segments. That's the next thing, modify our contact segments. So we've configured our campaign and next is modify our contact segments. Modify our contact segments is still almost the same step. So what we need to do is we will need to type in um, the first to move to first contact segment uh, in the name field and then click on, we will add this our first contact, which is here. It's our first contact, our first contact, sorry. Our first contact, our first contact, to we'll add it here. So once we've added here, we click on add. And the next step we need to do, you notice a line, that this line that you drawn between the two boxes, which is the first contact and the action. That line is called a connector. It is drawn between anchors on each boxes. And hover on each, once you hover on each anchor on the upper box, you can select action and then send email. So you select the action that you want uh, uh, Motic to carry out for you. You want to change campaigns, change contact stage, go to meeting action. So but what's for uh, purpose of creating this form? And so we'll be sending an email, not a marketing message. So we'll click on send email. And once you click on send email, you now need to configure the action that you want the email to do. So once you've clicked on send email, you now like select my first email on the drop down, and then you select who you want to send the email to, and then click on add. Then at the end of the day, once you're done with all configuring your, uh, at the end of the day, once you're done with setting up your landing page, creating a form to be embedded on the landing page, creating a thank you email, setting up your campaign, Define your contact sources. The next thing will be to publish your campaign at the end of the day. So once you publish your campaign, multi tickets from there and sends the email to the appropriate quarters, the appropriate customers that you want it to send to. So now the next thing will be to test your form. Multi has a way for you to test your form to be able to know that uh, that um, marketing email that you've, you've created will be able to reach the appropriate source. To test your form, what you need to do is you go to your first landing page, then copy the URL of the public preview, then open it on an incognito um, browser. And once you do that, you'll be able to see, you'll be able to see your landing page. Then you can go ahead and fill the form using your real name and address. So remember you created the form using email an address. So to test your form, you just need to copy your landing page, open it on a different browser, then fill in the form with your name and address. You should be able to view that on your Motic dashboard. So now this is what a Motic dashboard looks like. The dashboard contains, is like the information center. The dashboard is like your information center. It's a great place to see how your campaigns are performing in real time. And the dashboard is very flexible and fully customizable for you to view all your metrics. So you're able to use Motic like a very robust documentation and knowledge base where um, most topics on how to, to use a lot of things, how to do A-B testing of emails, how to set up your form, how to set up your landing pages are all treated in detail. So if you need any uh, uh, materials on how you can go all about this, you can check the Slack channel, you can check the forums, you can check with the knowledge base which contains frequently asked questions, answers to frequently asked questions, and also the documentation on how you can set up all of this. So yeah, this is... I'm pretty sure I've touched most, some of the most important things I wanted to touch. So I'm just going to wait for Toby to come on stage. And if there's any question that you want to ask on how you can get started with using Motic, you can ask, I'll be willing to answer.
your mutes. Hi, Toby, your mutes. Oh, so sorry about that. Can you hear me now? Yeah. All right. So sorry about that. There was a bit technical glitch from my end. That was a very nice presentation and it was very straightforward. Oh, so thank you so much for that um, favor. So favor, let's go on to ask two questions. So um, I know this is very basic and you've tried as much as possible to make it very basic. But um, first thing I'd like to know is, um, is, it, is, it, is it advisable to learn all of these at once or is it something you just need to learn gradually as you go on? It's not advisable to learn all of this at once. You can always start from the most important things that you want to use Mautic for and start from the necessary things that you just want to learn. So you can learn each gradually and from there you can be able to grab the full uh, knowledge on how you can use Mautic. So you, so you don't need to learn everything at once. You just need to learn the most important things first, then gradually go into how you can use Mautic to, uh, fully. Automatic is very simple and easy to use, and it's uh, something that you can easily grasp. Uh, and because of uh, the way it's designed, it has like on screen uh, instructions that you can easily follow through. It also has like materials that can help and guide you along the way. Oh, perfect. So, one other thing, um, Favor, I, I don't know how we can work together on this the marketing and the education team. Maybe if you can come up with a kind of infographics, you know, infographics, right? Mm -hmm. So if you can come up for a kind of infographics for what you need to do before running your first campaign. So it will start from um, from the very basics of your contact, very basics of your segment, going yes. through email, and then going through all those processes before you can before send them before you can be able to finally create your first email. So I'm looking at if there's a way we can work together on this. And then able to come. That would be very nice. Yeah, yeah that would be great. All right, great. Because so I know that some people don't know how to use Motic. I've talked to some people, and they feel like the software is uh, too complex at first. Yeah. And so I'm trying to like, okay, it's not complex. It's actually very easy to use. And there are just certain things that you just need to do first. So it's always the thing that you need to do first that is always an issue because they don't know what to start with first. So I think yes. the infographics would be a very good way to know, okay, this is how uh, we need to start to it, and this is what you need to do first before, when trying to use Motic. All right, perfect, 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 great. So another question I have for you here is, um, how can we contribute to Motic? So I know it's something you're passionate about, So uh, and I know it's something you've written about in the past. So for everyone listening, so how can anyone contribute to Motic? Contribute to Mautic. Uh, there are different ways you can contribute to Mautic. You can contribute um, your code contributions. You can make code contributions and try to make the Mautic software better and more flexible for people who want to use Mautic. Also, you can, you can contribute to documentation writing. You can contribute to answering questions on the forum. There are different ways you can contribute to Mautic. All right. All right, great, great. So um, for whoever might be interested in understanding how you can contribute to Mautic, so let me just add to this, in, to what um, people have shared. So we have different um, teams you can join, and we also have initiatives you can also join. So these are ways you can be able to contribute to Mautic. So I believe um, Ruth will be sharing more about the initiative later in the keynote address today. But other ways you can contribute is by joining any of the teams. So we have education team. So in case you need um, to join the education team, you can only reach out to Favor. And um, in case you need to join the um, product team, you can always reach out to the product team on their Slack channel. In case you like to join the community team, so if you want to build a com start a community, your own local community or any other thing related to community, you can always reach out to AK. And if you're interested in um, promoting Mautic, which is what I'm more interested in, that is the marketing. Yeah. So please feel free to join the marketing team. We love to make a Mautic known globally and then also get people to start using. Well, people use Mautic, but we want more people using Mautic, actually. All right, Fiego, it's been a wonderful time this afternoon as we go along to talk about the basics of understanding Mautic. So we, we can keep the conversation about the 
um, the infographics offline and where you can be able to see what you can be able to do help more people, more users to find more tech easy to use. All right, yeah. thank you so much for your time this afternoon. All right, thank you very much. Bye.